Okay, guys, so here we go. So on number eight, so number seven, I've set up your problem for you. Um, the correct answer is, I think we did that already, right? 53 and six tenths. Okay, so number eight, I've set up the problem already. First number goes in the warm house. 15 and three zero six one tens hundred thousands ten thousandths divided by five and sixty nine hundredths. Now I can't solve this yet. I have to get rid of my decimal. Okay, so I need to move it over two times. One, two becomes whole number five hundred and sixty nine. So when I move this over two times, I need to move this decimal point over two times. Right? One, five, three, zero and 61 hundredths. Okay, so I just made compatible numbers. Remember we talked about equivalent expressions, not, sorry, not compatible numbers. I just created an equivalent expression to this problem. Okay, so again, when we talked about this five and 69 hundredths, if we multiplied it by 100, we would end up with whole number 569. When we multiplied this number by 100, we ended up with 1,530, and 61 hundredths, right? So this expression is equivalent to this expression, okay? So again, just review. I know it's not the problem, but just something to talk about. Okay, so I definitely need to talk about or think about compatible numbers because 569 is a big number to divide into another big number, okay? Oop, I need to put my decimal point on top of the roof, right? Since we got rid of the decimal here, this is a whole number. I just need to move this up and I don't have to worry about decimal points anymore. So I'm going to round this down to, or round this up to 600, right? 569 is really close to 600. So if I think this is 600 and I focus on the number 6, 6 times what number is going to get me close to, well, let's think about this. 569 does not go into 1. It doesn't go into 15. It doesn't even go into 153. So I'm looking at the first four numbers. I need to think to myself, 6 times what number is going to get me close to 15. 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 3 is 18, okay, which would put me over. So I'm thinking 569 times 2 is going to get me as close to 1,530 um, rather than going over. So let's go ahead and do that. 9 times 2 is 18. 6 times 2 is 12 plus 1 more is 13. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 1 more is 11. All right. So if I added, if I did times 3, I'm adding at least another 500 on here, which would put me at 1,600, which would put me over. So times 2 is correct. The 2 is going to go over the 0, okay? Some of you guys sometimes make mistakes when you're doing big numbers like this. You randomly put your number, let's say, either here or you put it here. Okay, if you put your two here, you are telling me, Mrs. Bardoni, 569 goes into one two times. That is not true, right? You you can't do that. Okay, even if you put the two in front on top of the three, you're telling me 569 goes into 153 two times. That's not the case, right? You had to use this fourth number in order to divide 569 into 1530. Okay, so it has to go above that zero. All right, so 569 times 2 is 1, 1, 3, 8. I'm going to subtract. Now, 0 minus 8 is not 8. Think slowly about these subtraction problems, right? When you guys rush, you don't think. So I cannot take a bigger number away from a smaller number, so I need to borrow from the neighbor. I'm going to regroup. That becomes a 2. This becomes a 10. 10 minus 8 is 2. 2 minus 3, I can't do that either. 3 is bigger than 2. I have to borrow from the neighbor, right? Regroup again. This becomes 12. 12 minus 3 is 9. 4 minus 1 is 3. 1 minus 1 is 0. Okay? So uh, I'm going to do a check. Is 392 smaller than 569? It is. I'm going to bring down my next number, which is a 6. All right. So I'm going to go back and I have to think the mental math, compatible numbers. I'm thinking this number, I'm going to round it up to 600. And I'm thinking about this number 6. And I'm looking at these first two numbers. 6 goes into 39 how many times without going over? 6 times 5 is 30. 6 times 6 is 36. 6 times 7, or sorry, yeah, 6 times 7 is 42. So 7 is too big. So let's try 6. So I'm going to go back to the original number, 569. 
and I'm going to try times 6, and I'm going to see what happens. 9 times 6 is 54. 6 times 6 is 36, plus 5 more, so 36, or 7, 38, 39, 40, 41. 5 times 6 is 30, plus 4 is 34. 3, 4, 1, 4. Yep, that's it. Because if I were to do an add on another 569, if I add 500, that's going to be 3,900. That'll go, that'll go over. So it's 569 times 6. So 3, 4, 1, 4. And actually, I can check my work here. If I would have been able to fit in another 569, I'll find out when I do this. 6 minus 4 is 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. 9 minus 4 is 5. 3 minus 3 is 0. I don't have to add anything. Yep. This number is smaller than this number, so I'm good to go. All right, I'm going to bring down my last number, which is the 1. Now that's a big number, 5,121. So I'm going to go back here to compatible numbers. This is about 600. 6 goes into 51 how many times? So 6 times 7 is 42. 6 times 8 is 48. So I'm thinking an 8. Let's try it. So let's see. I'm going to go down here. 569 times 8. 72. 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. Right? Did I do that right? 72, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. Yep. 5 times 8 is 40, plus 5 more is 45. Mm hmm. I might be able to do it times 9. Let's do it. 569 times 9. That's 81, 54, plus 8 more. 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62. See, sometimes even I have to count with my fingers. 5 times 9 is 45, plus 6 more, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. Oh, what do you know? Look at that. Exactly. 5,121, 5,121. So 569 goes into that number 9 times. Exactly. Right? I'm left with no remainder. I have no more numbers to bring down. So my final answer, 2 and 69 hundredths. Okay. All right. Number seven, or sorry, number nine. Um, I'm not going to do it, but here's the answer. Six and eight tenths. So check your work in your calculations. If you don't have this answer, go back and see where you went wrong. Okay. Number 10. <clears throat> final answer is nine and three tenths. Again, this is going to become a big number. 569. Use compatible numbers in order to solve. Okay. All right, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.